it is time. It is time for another battle of the pens. I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, I have three pens here, clearly. I have the Lamy Safari, the Faber-Castell Student, and the Twisby Eco T. What do all of these pens have in common, you might ask? Well, they all have the love it or the hate it triangle grip. Dun, dun, dun. So I thought I'd pin the three of these uh, side by side because with triangle grips, like I said, people either love them or they hate them. There's very few people that just sort of seem indifferent. I feel like I am sort of one of those people. Um, it's not something I seek out for sure, but it doesn't bother me if it's there because I do have the stereotypical grip that is meant for somebody, um, you know, for a triangle grip. Um, but, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> so I thought I would pull these side by side. The Lamy Safari and or All Stars, probably the most popular one uh, that has that grip section and I have ink all over it. Um, but I feel like the Eco T is probably not far behind. Um, it is difficult to see <laughs> the triangle grip because it is clear, um, but I feel like this pen is going to be quite popular. And the Faber-Castell Student, uh, is probably very unknown or at least certainly less known than the other two um, but definitely has that grip as well um, so battle of the pens <laughs> which triangle grip reigns supreme <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this um so the the overall size of all three pens is actually pretty similar here let me move the camera up a little bit is fairly similar um the eco t probably takes the cake by a hair over the lamy safari student is definitely the shortest um but they're all pretty darn close uh these two are snap caps the lamy safari and the fabric Estel student uh all of them post um so if i put them aside they're going to roll everywhere. <laughs> um, without posting, the Eco T is the longest, followed by the Safari and then the Faber Castell student. And if I post them and let them all slide away, <laughs> then we're just gonna do this, and do this, I'm gonna do this. Then once again, oh, you can barely see in my frame. Sorry about that. Uh, the Eco T ever so slightly takes it. My camera's sliding down, ever so slightly takes it, and then the Safari, then the Fabric Castell. So the Fabric Castell is definitely the smallest uh, of the three, um, but I think it's meant for students, aka young students, so I feel like that's probably not a bad thing. The Lamy Safari and or All Star to me feels really good in my hand. Again, I have the traditional grip. Um, so if you don't, if you have any sort of uh, a different grip, so maybe you, you grip with all four, um, you know, maybe you, you prefer to have like your hand, like your thumb on top or something, who knows? If you don't have the stereotypical tripod grip, I think this would be pretty uncomfortable because it's relatively sharp on the edges here. Not sharp as in like a knife, it's not going to cut you, obviously, but it is very, very distinct. Um, so you will absolutely feel it. Even when you're holding it in that regular grip, I do feel the bottoms on this side, on the, the fleshy part of my thumb and forefinger, um, you, you do certainly feel them. On the flip side, um, the Faber-Castell student is also pretty darn indented but it is a rubber grip. So you don't have that same sharpness that you feel. So I, I do still feel the distinct triangle shape that's kind of forcing me to keep that traditional grip, um, which I think again is why they would put it on a student pen. Um, but it, it doesn't, uh, like I don't feel the end of the grip um, quite as sharply. The Eco T is the least offensive, I would I would say, out of all of them. It does not really feel at all like there's a triangle grip until I rotate the pen. Then I definitely feel 
uh, like it doesn't feel good in my hand. Like the grip section feels a little strange. But there's no sort of markings or, or denotations that make me feel as though I'm holding a triangle. It's very, very smooth. And again, it's really difficult to see on a clear pen, but you can kind of see it there. It's very round. It's very smooth. It's the least obvious of the three. Um, so if you don't like triangle grips, um, but you, you know, maybe want to like try one out or you don't know if you like triangle grips I would maybe say go with the eco t it is the most expensive of the three um, not by much though over the lamy safari the fabric castell is definitely the least expensive um, but it is the least offensive as the way it feels and obviously it is a piston um, both of these are cartridge converters so this will also hold more as far as like quote unquote bang for your buck um definitely the least offensive. Um, to me, as far as the build quality goes for the three triangle grip pens, I would say the Eco uh, probably has it uh, in that category, um, followed by the, I got ink everywhere, man, <laughs> followed by the Lamy Safari, then the Faber-Castell. The Faber-Castell, you can certainly tell, is very, very, very cheap. It is meant to almost be disposable. Um, the Lamy Safari, you do have to factor in, you're going to have to buy a converter. It does come with some cartridges, but you do have to factor that in as well. Um, the Twisby Eco comes with everything you need, comes with the wrench and silicone grease to take this apart if you need to, to clean it. Um, and of course, has a built-in piston, so you don't have to buy an additional cartridge or converter. Um, but you would need bottled ink. Um, so all of those things, but that's a fountain pen thing in general. Um, so to me, as far as the battle of the triangle grips go, if I flip this open, the sinner, I would say, <laughs> the one that is probably going to be the most divisive is the Lamy Safari. Uh, it is the one that certainly forces you to stay in that grip hold. Um, if you go outside of that grip hold, it is not painful, but I mean, it is definitely noticeable and it will force you to stay there. Um, so it, is, it takes the cake for being the most offensive of the three. The least offensive of the three goes to the Eco T. Um, you can certainly hold it any which way you want for the most part and still feel decently okay about it. Uh, and then this is sort of middle of the road. It does kind of keep you in that triangle grip section, um, but because it is rubber, it does feel kind of nice in your hand. Uh, one thing that's interesting about all of these is that they all have these little dip sections uh, at the very end. And I don't think that has anything to do with the triangle grip. It's just interesting that all three of them have it. I personally hate that because ink gets stuck in there when you dip it into a bottle to fill it. Uh, and it drives me bananas. Um, but they all have it. Um, at first I thought it was a snap cap thing, but this is a twist and this still has it too. So who knows? That's just a random thing to, to mention, but it just drives me up the wall. Uh, so yeah, least offensive, Twisby Eco, most offensive, Lamy Safari. Uh, have you guys used any of these? I know most of you have probably used these two, um, but if you've used all three of them, let me know in the comment section down below who you think would be the winner or the loser or whatever. Um, you know, for, for me, it's sort of a love-hate thing. I will say, I'm going to keep those uncapped, so we'll see if they... <laughs> We'll see if they dry out. The Faber Castell. I think I'm spelling that wrong. It only comes with the medium nib, but it certainly writes like a broad. But is certainly very, very, very smooth and does feel good in the hand. Um, the Lamy. Oh, this did dry out a little bit. Safari. To me, it does not feel actually as nice as this one. There is some feedback uh, and it's not even as wet as I would like. 
but is certainly there, um, but does force you to stay in that grip because you absolutely feel the triangle grip. And the Twisby, if I can spell, it's not right either, um, is definitely the winner for the least offensive grip for sure. And is probably the middle of the road of these two for smoothness. This wins for smoothness, um, but I think the overall, if I had to crown one of these pens champion, I would crown the Twisby uh, Eco T then the Faber Castell, then the Lamy Safari. So like I said, if you've used any of these, let me know in the comment section down below, because I would be very interested. I know there's probably other T-grip shaped pens. Uh, do write in the comment section down below your thoughts on those as well, uh, and compare them to these pens if you've used any of them as well. Um, so I hope you guys thought this was an interesting video. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet already, do hit subscribe. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday, plus my pen book ink series uh, would come out on Tuesdays as well. Uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're still watching 11 minutes in, you're the reason why I make these videos. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.